Anya, an unassuming archaeologist, knelt in the red dust of the Martian wasteland, brushing away centuries of sand to reveal a smooth, metallic disc. As she lifted it, a soft hum resonated, and intricate symbols glowed on its surface. It wasn't Martian technology, it was far too advanced. Back at the research station, the disc activated, displaying a holographic message. A woman, her features eerily human yet ethereal, spoke in a language that resonated deep within Anya. We are the Ain, the message began, the guardians from beyond the stars. We seeded life on countless worlds, including yours. But something went wrong. A cataclysm on your planet forced us to intervene, placing you in stasis while we repaired the damage. Anya's mind reeled. Humanity wasn't native to Earth. They were refugees, placed on a new world by a long-lost alien race. The message continued, revealing that the Ain had left behind a hidden gateway, allowing them to return home. But the message ended abruptly, a look of pain etched on the woman's holographic face. Driven by an insatiable curiosity and a longing for her true origins, Anya assembled a team. They followed clues hidden in ancient earth mythologies, stories of beings from the sky who guided humanity. The gateway, they discovered, was buried deep beneath the Giza Plateau, disguised as the Great Sphinx. Opening the gateway was a gamble. They didn't know if the Ain even existed anymore, or what awaited them on the other side. Yet, the thirst for knowledge and the yearning for belonging propelled them forward. As they stepped through the shimmering portal, a wave of energy engulfed them, transporting them across the vastness of space. They arrived on a world bathed in the light of two suns, a vibrant paradise teeming with life. Lush vegetation carpeted the land, and magnificent, crystalline cities shimmered in the distance. But the world was eerily silent. Anya and her team found the aim but not as they expected. They were emaciated, their lifespans nearing their end. The cataclysm on Earth had affected them too, draining their energy reserves. The Ain, filled with gratitude and remorse, revealed the truth. They weren't just guardians, they were the original inhabitants of Earth, forced to flee to this new world after their own planet became uninhabitable. They had tried to return, but their technology had failed them. Anya and her team, carrying the knowledge and technology of a revitalized Earth, offered the Ain a chance. They could return to their homeworld, using Earth's resources to help them rebuild. The Ain, humbled and hopeful, accepted. Tears streamed down their faces as they prepared to return, finally going home after millennia of exile. Anya stood on the precipice of the gateway, watching as the Ain disappeared into the swirling energy. This wasn't the ending she had envisioned, but it was a beginning. Humanity, once refugees, had become saviors, their journey a testament to the enduring human spirit and the interconnectedness of life throughout the vast cosmos. The future, once shrouded in mystery, now held the promise of a shared destiny, where two worlds, once separated by time and circumstance, would forever be bound by the threads of origin and hope.